Hey guys, it's Wids again with another build video for Nobody Saves the World. So today we are going to use this build for the Witch Queen Catacombs. Now this is the first dungeon that your legendary dungeon that you encounter and you need to use this to progress further to the story. In any case, the build I'm about to show you is going to guarantee you to actually clear this dungeon if you use it the way that I'm showing you. So let's show you what i am using for the passives i am using the strongman i'm also using the horsepower i don't have to read what it says for you you already know and then we have poison tip as well as stone powder and uh, you get this from the magician and a lot of other passive you can buy from the vendors etc etc but those are the ones that i use and they are very good now you do have the flexibility to use a lot of things but this is my advice if you are going to do this dungeon do not bring any ability that allow you to heal that will be to your detriment so don't bring anything that allow you to get health back because if you heal then the enemies are gonna heal and it's gonna take you a very long time to actually finish that dungeon so don't bring anything that gives you health so use the ones that i'm showing you and you should be good to go in any case these are the active ability. We have the slime slide because you have that type of wards in there. And then we also have the pump up that comes native with the bodybuilder. And we have the bench press uh, active that you cannot swap for anything. In any case, you have flex as well. And those are the ones that I'm using. And you can be a little bit flexible. You don't have to use this one as long as you have the two damage types that you need to break the shields or the wards how they call them in this game then you should be good to go so you have some flexibility there now the build is very simple but it is very strong so if you don't have everything because you're very very early in the game then you should be able to do at least three active abilities and you are going to be fine so as always to show you how the build works i am going to show you the final boss fight and you are going to see what i was talking about and if you try it you should be good to go then you'll go ahead and destroy these people in this dungeon and have fun anyway thanks for watching i hope you try it i will see you guys in the next one